All right, so I've been sitting in my room for about like an hour and a half trying to research everything that's bad with Black Ops 4, you know, watching videos, going on Reddit, and doing all that kinds of stuff. So this is a video of everything that is bad with Black Ops 4. And I have my own opinions at the very end of the video if you guys want to watch that. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So guys, all my information is based on, you know, YouTubers, Reddit posts, and everything that people have already noticed on Black Ops 4. You know, there's quite a few things that they actually need to change, like ACE. App, and there's some things that they just need to just like I don't know they they, they got to do something to it I'm just gonna list off everything right away you know just I have a whole list right here and it's it's pretty insane not gonna lie I'm also gonna have like a little table of contents kind of thing where you guys can click through the topics I'm gonna be going over so yeah just y use the description for that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and get started with the video all right so the first one on the list is going to be the frame rate drop so if you're not using a PlayStation Pro I guess you uh, there's some players that are experiencing experiencing frame rate drops and it's actually just fucking up the game completely and I, I feel sorry for the people that don't have pros and um, honestly I don't even know what to even say about that but I guess they had a hot fix to fix this and it actually increased it like slightly and um, I don't know a lot of people are experiencing the frame rate drops and uh, that was one of the known issues. Alright, so the next one on the list is visual distortion on flinch. And that's basically when you're getting shot out, the entire screen is actually being darkened and you're it just makes it harder for you to kill the person. So, and I think they added this because, you know, they kind of took off flinch in a way and they just wanted it to like be a little bit more balanced. And if you got shot at, they're just going to have a distortion, you know. But uh, a lot of players are experiencing that it's way too much and they should at least reduce it just slightly. Alright, so number three on the list is time to kill. So time to kill is ridiculously long on here. It, it definitely does take a much longer time than we're used to in a regular Call of Duty game. And um, honestly, I see why people think it's a big problem. The health is too high for people to get multi-kills. And um, whenever you get in a gunfight with at least two people, you know, you're probably going to die. But probably the biggest problem with Black Ops 4 is literally the time to kill. And I honestly think that they did this because of Black Out. You know, I don't think they added, you know, 150 health just because they wanted to add 150 health. They did it because of Black Out. You know, they had to do something so it's more balanced for blackouts so if you're gonna add something like this into the game just keep it for that one game mode you know if blackouts gonna have 150 health that's perfectly fine because that's it'll make blackout you know more fun because it actually makes it harder for them to kill and stuff like that but since all these old traditional cod players are playing you know call of duty or black ops they want to play the old cods they don't want to play the new cods or have more health or whatever so just have multiplayer have the less health and have all this stuff i get that they want to do tactical stuff but honestly all the traditional players are going to leave call of duty and go do something else and um yeah so that's one thing that they really need to focus on is the time to kill or figuring out a way to you know have it good for both worlds for blackout and multiplayer and um, yeah that's the only thing that I really want to say it's either they can also increase the damage of the weapons or if they can just decrease the health of the players so that's the one of the big known issues and let's go ahead and get into number four all right so the fourth one on the list is going to be the armor and there's going to be a lot of the specialist equipment and specialist gear and stuff like that on this list so be aware of that and the first one is going to be armor and armor is honestly the most pain in the ass fucking gear piece in this game you know and it's just because if you get in a fight with multiple people with the ballistic shield it fucking sucks up really it really does suck you cannot kill either one of those two people and um if you're trying to you know just have a one-on-one -on -one gunfight you're probably gonna lose like it's instant like pretty much death you're not gonna win and it's it sucks it really does suck the extra one bullet you have to get to kill that person it really does like not make it good and the way to get rid of this is just to get rid of it honestly this your piece should not be in here you know it's another like source for juggernaut but it's not a good piece if you're always going to be running into it everyone's going to either be running ballistic shield or whatever and that's pretty much it so all right so the fifth one on the list is the fog of war so at first i didn't know what the fog of war did but now after doing all that research and stuff like that i kind of have like a sense of what it is anyways so basically it's just a little like 
a little radius or a little bubble that is displayed on your mini map of your character and it just displays people that are near you enemies that are near you one of the known issues is that the fog of war actually displays a whole circle you know it should only display what you are viewing as a person you know you shouldn't be able to be would have eyes behind your back it should just only be viewing the front of the you know character the reason why this is such a known issue is because if you're trying to be stealthy and they can just easily just see you know the person just coming up right behind them and they can just turn on them just easy so that's one of the known issues for the fog of war alright so the sixth one on the list is going to be the spawn beacon spawn beacon is Seraph's special gear equipment and basically you put it down and anyone can spawn near it so it's it's kind of like a team tactical insertion and it needs to be buffed ASAP. The reason why this is such an issue is because it's you're spawning on the beacon like right away. Um, apparently in the alpha build or something like that it opens up uh, new spawns near the beacon. It's not literally on the beacon but it's near the beacon. Like It's supposed to open up a whole bunch of new spawns that are near this beacon but it's not actually on the beacon. And I personally I think that's probably the better version of the beacon. I don't know if the team tack insertion is the best but if you do have the team tack insertion I think you need to have a limited times that the person can spawn there or the entire team can spawn there only once or something like that. And that's honestly just the simple fix that you could possibly do with that. I also forgot to mention, but apparently you could also use the spawn beacon in search and destroy and just redeploy or like respawn back into a search and destroy match. So honestly, if they're going to have the deploy beacon in Seraph, they should just have it to where it literally does absolutely nothing because it just seems like an OP perk or an OP like equipment and it just shouldn't be for in, uh, search and destroy. Honestly, it should just have no value for search and destroy. If you're going to be playing a Seraph, you're just going to have one less equipment. So just don't put on the beacon or whatever. You know, that's what it should be. That is also something that's in there. So let's go ahead and move on. All right, so number seven on the list is going to have two issues that are very minor, but I mean, they're easy fixes. And it's going to be lobby times and the cursor. So the lobby times are a little bit too high. They kind of take way too fucking long, you know. And even for casual players, they're just like, you know, what the hell is, why is it taking forever? And um, the lobby times needs to be reduced. And uh, for the cursor, anyways, the cursor is probably, first thing I had noticed, actually, the cursor was just like, what the hell, it was way too fast. I even tried looking for a setting that reduced the cursor's sensitivity and um, it's either they keep this like cursor on there and just have it to where you can also use a d-pad to navigate or they just get rid of the cursor completely um, yeah those are just my two little easy fixes there all right so number eight on this list is going to be the razor wire damage you know I didn't experience this myself because every time I saw razor wire I just either shot it or went around it but apparently if you tried to go through it, it actually damaged you quite a bit and I didn't even notice it honestly. I didn't even have any issues with it because I never went through it and um, you know that's just one of the known issues that were just there as the razor wire goes. Alright so number 9 on the list is going to be the Nomad. So Nomad overall is just too overpowered apparently. Um, honestly the dog it doesn't, every time I use the dog it was never useful. It always ran away and it always just didn't do anything right. But the one issue that I did notice with the dog is that it was very hard to kill the dog and it was actually very like as soon as you engage with the dog it would pretty much kill you. And for the trip mines I would have to say that the cooldown needs to be a little bit longer they were just too often used and I ended up just running into them quite often especially as an aggressive player I ran into them very like too many times let's just say I personally don't agree with number 10 but number 10 is going to be the movement is way too fast the movement is pretty fast especially for the time to kill to be really really high so I mean I guess in a way they could reduce it to kind of match the time to kill but if the time to kill is gonna be you know slightly like reduced or whatever if they do buff it or nerf it or whatever you want to call it um, then the movement should stay the same I don't think it should be anything more or less than what it is now it's pretty much good enough number 11 is going to be talking about the specialist picking more than one specialist in a game mode I personally think that they should have had this in the game still I don't know why they wanted to remove this and you know Black Ops 3 worked out very well I don't know why they wanted to change it but they also didn't have special equipment so I mean I guess it kind of just makes it different in a way but um, I don't know this is one of the known issues as well 
Alright, so number 12, I can't really talk much about it because I never had an issue with the maps, but maps is going to be another issue that people, you know, found to have. It, they said it kind of feels like Infinity Ward's maps, which I don't really understand what that means. I think it could do something with the spawns or something, but I'm not too sure about the map design, but I just wanted to acknowledge that this is also a known issue that people are having. Alright, so for number 13, we're going to be talking about the 100% accuracy sniper, which is the Koshka. So the Koshka, the operator mod, allows the player to have this, it allows them to have a super accurate, like, hip fire shot. It, it's actually not that great, but I mean, if you put a laser sight on it, and you're going to be getting no scopes, literally from across the map. That's how OP it is, and I don't understand why they even put this in there. Like, what the hell were they even thinking, honestly? And I definitely do see a buff coming to that soon. They might as well just change the operator mod to something completely different, or I don't even know. We'll see what they even do. I guess the number 14 on this list is going to be the spawns for hardpoint and domination. The hardpoint and domination spawns are literally everywhere. Um, I noticed that sometimes it would happen on TDM and kill confirmed. But I mean that's pretty normal for those two game modes because I mean you're always they're always rushing each other's spawns or whatever, and it always gets cha chaotic like ASAP. And, um, yeah, so the spawns are also a known issue for, you know, these other game modes, and I think they should t definitely take a look into that as soon as possible. Alright guys, so that's pretty much everything that is on my list that I've written down, and, um, honestly, I don't agree with some of these, but most of the specialist abilities and equipment and stuff like that I do agree with. Um, but honestly, I had a really good time with the Black Ops 4 beta, and I thought I was doing fantastic, you know, I was beasting. There's just some times where I just got annoyed by the ballistic armor and stuff like that, but that was honestly it. It was, it was a really good beta, honestly, and I felt like it wasn't too overpowered either, but I just did notice those little minor things where if, like, I'm going up against, like, three people, you're pretty much dead. Two people, pretty much dead. Multi-kills is, like, a lot harder to obtain just because of the time to kill. And, uh, I mean, I thought it was a pretty good beta, not gonna lie. I, I I had a really good time with it. You know, I always got a lot of kill streaks and all that. Oh, actually, one thing I did fucking want to acknowledge, I didn't put this on the list, but I do want to acknowledge it now, is the strike team needs to be, like, either more powerful or just, like, I don't even know. It Every time I got it, it never got kills with it. So that's just one thing I just wanted to throw out there. But I, I, I was having a good time. I, I'm not going to lie. It was fun. I leveled up pretty much most of the weapons. If I would have had to rate it, I would say it's like an 8. Just because of those little minor fixes. You know, it's mostly the time to kill and, you know, the armor and stuff like that. So, alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you guys really do have anything to say, comment down below. I'm going to comment on every single one of you guys or reply to every single one of you guys. Yeah, so just let me know what you guys think about Black Ops 4. If you guys are hyped still or if you guys want to just, you know, go play Fortnite or do whatever you guys want. And also guys, I want to link a really good video that talks about the business aspect of it. And he actually explains it very well of why the fuck Black Ops 4 is probably the way Black Ops 4 is now. And, or Call of Duty in general and it's actually a really good video and I really highly suggest that you guys watch it so go check out his video the link will be in the description below if you guys don't know who Dobbins is go subscribe to his channel guys it's actually really great I just discovered him but it's pretty good so go check out that video and uh, subscribe and share my content guys I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day peace out no for real guys come subscribe to my channel because we need some like asap supporters like as soon as possible we're trying to hit 10k but that will never happen if unless if i share it with multiple humans and uh yeah let's do that guys so make that happen make a homie fucking happy and let's do this mother truckers all right peace out again part two